What is up, everybody? Today we are giving my UFC 291 main event predictions between Dustin the Diamond Poirier and Justin the Human Highlight Gaethje. So this is an incredibly good fight, and I'm going to have some breakdowns on some other fights that are on this card, like Michelle Pereira versus Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, Alex Poetan Pereira versus Jan Blahovich, and, you know, plenty of other fights. But this one in particular, the main event, it's for the BMF title, which is sort of cringy when you kind of think about it because he should have just retired with Jorge Masvidal. But either way, man, it's a good one. And the fight is what I'm looking forward to the most, and I think everybody else is as well, because everybody knows what happens when you put some of the most violent fighters in the UFC and pair them up against each other. And this is going to be one of those fights yet again. It's going to be like Michael Chandler versus Justin Gaethje at UFC 268. It's going to be like Dustin Poirier versus Michael Chandler at UFC 281. You know what I mean? It's going to be one of those fights that are just how can it be boring if it's boring it's going to be one of the most crazy shocks i've ever seen and really it's going to be a really great fight everybody knows it's going to be a good fight right dustin poirier is coming off that fight against michael chandler by the way which was an incredible fight in that one and you know dustin had some trouble with michael chandler it was a headbutt that wobbled dustin in the first round but then at the end of that round dustin poirier was able to you know get a counter left hook i think it was and he was able to drop chandler and then nearly finished Chandler at the end of that fight and then if you look at the second round of that fight Dustin Poirier got out grappled and then in the third round Dustin Poirier was able to find a submission on a gas Michael Chandler not to say that Michael Chandler didn't cause Justin Gaethje any problems because in the first round of their fight Michael Chandler did cause some problems for Justin Gaethje and you know you can look at common opponents like Michael Chandler but they've also fought each other already right they fought way back in 2018 and, you know, that was the card I think Marvin Vittori fought Israel Adesanya on. It was all the way in Phoenix, Arizona. You know, Justin Gaethje's crowd there. And it was an incredible fight, fight of the year. And, you know, at that time, Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje, they went to war, man. And Justin was able to bomb him with leg kicks. And then Dustin, you know, was able to just outbox him. And we've seen throughout the years how they've progressed and they've gone on and gone their separate ways, both losing to Habib Nurmagomedov and both losing to Charles Oliveira. Outside of those losses, they haven't lost to anybody else. Nobody has beaten them. They've turned back Conor McGregor, Rafael Fizia. They've turned back plenty of names, right? And none of them have beaten Dustin Poirier or Justin Gaethje. These are two incredible fighters. And really, it's gonna be one of the best fights I think you will see in some time. Now, Dustin Poirier, man, he is just a dog. You know, the, both of these guys are just dogs, but I think Dustin Poirier's boxing is a bit cleaner. I think Justin Gaethje is still gonna be blasting the leg kicks, and I think Poirier will still be hurt by the leg kicks. But I just do believe that Dustin Poirier is gonna be able to use the boxing and implement it into this fight. I think that Justin Gaethje, you know, people say, oh, he's changed, he's changed a lot since that first Dustin Poirier fight, which is true. He is a lot more reserved these days, but I just don't see him being able to compete with Dustin Poirier. And Dustin Poirier, people aren't giving him enough credit for how much he has improved since that fight with Justin Gaethje as well. His boxing is probably the best we've seen. It, it is some of the best in the game. And he was able to knock out Conor McGregor. And he's just got an incredible boxing game. So I think he's going to be able to implement that. I think he's going to be able to time Justin Gaethje. And people are forgetting Justin Gaethje did get caught by Charles Oliveira two fights ago and was dropped and finished, brutally dropped and finished. And, you know, I think the reason that we think that Justin is great is because he always oh, got that great chin. I don't think Justin Gaethje's chin is as good as people say it is. He has an incredible chin in the sense that, yes, he doesn't get flatlined, KO'd, he doesn't really get dropped, but he can get hit. Tony Ferguson dropped him, and everybody wobbles him, it seems. Like, Michael Chandler wobbled him, and he flies back and is stumbling all over the place. It happened, I mean, Rafael Fiziev lost to him, but Rafael Fiziev was winning in that first round until, you know, he kind of gassed out and Justin figured him out in that fight. But I think that Dustin Poirier is going to be able to mix it up. And I have Dustin Poirier winning this fight by knockout in the fourth round. I think it's going to be the same exact thing. Dustin's going to wear on him. And I think they're both going to wear on each other. But I see Dustin being able to prevail and eventually get the finish in this fight. So that's my official prediction, everybody. I'm going Dustin Poirier by round four finish. And I think he's going to be the new BMF title holder. And he is going to fight Islam Makhachev after Charles Oliveira does. Or I guess, you know, if Charles wins, then they'll do the re the trilogy between those three two. But, you know, it's going to be a great fight. Can't wait to see it. Let me know who you guys got. Put it in the comments below.